And President Uhuru Kenyatta was Friday evening accorded a general's farewell, complete with pulling out parade where senior officers of the rank of Major General and above lined up in front of the head of state ceremonial vehicle and pulled him out of the Department of Defense to signify the accomplishment of his assignment as Chief of Defense Forces. Earlier, the men and women in uniform staged a farewell ceremony at the Olinzi Sports Complex in Nairobi, where KDF thanked him for his 10 years at the helm of the country. Hassan Mugambi attended the elaborate military ceremony that also saw the head of state receive gifts from the uniformed forces. Here's his piece. Call it a penultimate hooray. President Uhuru Kenyatta Friday evening boarded the ceremonial presidential vehicle for the pulling out parade. Senior ranking officers of the Kenya Defense Forces drawn from all three formations used this rope to do their honors. The officers from the ranks of Major General and above marched to the beat of the KDF band with the outgoing Commander-in-Chief in tow. The climax of the day that saw KDF stage a military farewell for the President. Earlier Friday morning, the day started with the Commander-in-Chief paying tribute to fallen soldiers at the Langata Barracks. With his final march to this monument, he led the military in laying wreath in honor of those that paid the ultimate prize defending the country. Uwanjani ni gwari de la Heshma liloandaliwa na majeshi yetu ya ulinzi. At the Ulinzi Sports Complex, the 21 Kenya Rifle Battalion mounted a guard of honor for the president to inspect. His second last as commander-in-chief and the last here at the complex. <laughs> In his favorite band rendition, President Kenyatta, accompanied by Chief of Defense Forces General Robert Kibochi, marched to the neatly mounted aisles of the Kenya Army, Kenya Navy, and Kenya Air Force troops in their official regalia. The band then took its time to showcase its prowess in entertaining the head of state. It did not end there. The head of state, together with First Lady Mama Margaret Kenyatta, was showered with gifts from the military, the men and women in uniform thanking the duo for their 10 years of service. Their children were also not left behind. Different schools in military installations thanked the president in style. A fly passed by this Kenya Air Force helicopter got the message home, congratulating the head of state for a term well accomplished. <laughs> The DOD, this military tradition, signifies the end of assignment for a retiring general. He will be receiving his final salute as Commander-in-Chief Tuesday before handing over the instruments of power to incoming President William Ruto. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.